The Taylor family headed to the beach for peaceful family time, but their day took a full turn when they came across a beached octopus begging for help. Pooling all their strengths, they finally saved the animal, but nothing could have prepared them for how it thanked them. At the beach, Samantha and Jeff Taylor watched their sons play around and have fun with the other kids. Jake and Ethan were engaged in a game of tag while their parents were slowly packing their stuff in preparation for the trip back home. But then, in a heartbeat, the day took an unexpected turn. Ethan, in pursuit of his brother, stumbled over something buried in the sand. He let out a sudden, sharp scream that pierced the tranquility of the beach, sending shivers down his family's spines. Jeff and Samantha rushed over, their hearts pounding with fear. Jake, too, turned back at the sound of his brother's cry. What they saw sent a chill down their spines. From afar, they saw Ethan struggling to free his leg from something in the sand. Maybe it was a small hole that his foot got trapped in, Samantha guessed as she dropped everything she was carrying. Their parental instincts on high alert, she and Jeff hurried to Ethan's side. Fear and confusion mingled on their faces as they examined the mysterious tentacle entwined around their son's ankle. Its smooth, pale surface glistened in the sunlight. The tentacle's grip on Ethan's ankle was firm, but not aggressive. It was as if the creature was trapped itself, and in its struggle, it had inadvertently ensnared Ethan. The young boy's wide eyes were filled with fear. The situation was extraordinary, and Jeff's mind raced. He remembered reading about the increased reports of beached marine animals in the area. The image of a beached octopus tangled in fishing nets had been etched in his memory. Thinking back to those reports, Jeff immediately guessed that it was an octopus tentacle. Samantha's eyes widened with understanding as she realized the gravity of the situation. This was a living being in distress and not some animal trying to hurt her young son. Working together, they carefully began to disentangle the octopus's tentacle from Ethan's ankle. It was a delicate task, and they needed to be mindful not to harm the creature. As they gently loosened the grip, they marveled at the creature's otherworldly appearance with suckers that clung stubbornly to Ethan's skin. With each passing moment, the tentacle loosened its hold, and Ethan's leg was freed. The young boy, though startled, was unharmed. Samantha and Jeff exchanged relieved glances, but their attention quickly shifted to the stranded octopus. Lying in the sand, the poor creature appeared exhausted and vulnerable. Its body, a remarkable display of nature's intricacy, pulsed rhythmically. Jeff knew they needed to act swiftly to save this remarkable animal. Altogether, they started digging in the sand to help the poor octopus breathe. It was buried deep, and given the weak movements its tentacle was making, it was safe to say it wouldn't survive long if they didn't provide it with safe access to air and water. The sand was suffocating it, but thankfully, it was also keeping its body moist. Once they had dug the octopus out of the sand, the tailors found themselves facing an unusual dilemma. How were they going to free it from the deep sandy hole it had precipitated into? The family of four gathered around to try and push the octopus back into the water. Unfortunately, the poor thing was not only too far from the water, but also far too heavy for them to move. Two adults and two kids didn't stand a chance against this octopus that was at least over 200 pounds heavy and six feet tall. Realizing that they wouldn't be able to move it, Jeff quickly thought of ways to keep it alive while they sought help. He remembered reading something about how to care for beached octopuses and that keeping them cool and hydrated was paramount for their survival. Without the sand acting as a wet barrier between its body and the scorching sun, its time on Earth would be even shorter. With that knowledge in mind, Jeff instructed his family. He shared the little information he had about caring for beached octopuses and told them they needed to act fast. Under no circumstances were they to touch the animal's mouth or eyes. To avoid its gills getting dry, they would need to pour seawater over them every few minutes. While they did this, someone would need to go call for help. Jake's eyes widened with a mix of curiosity and concern as he listened to his father's impromptu lesson on octopus care. Samantha nodded in understanding, her maternal instincts kicking in as she looked at her youngest son, Ethan, who was still visibly shaken by the encounter. With a plan in mind, Samantha looked around and recalled seeing a security post not too far away from their location. 
It was their best hope for getting the immediate assistance they needed to return the octopus to the water. She looked to Jake, who was the fastest among all of them. Reminding him of the security post they saw, she told him to run as fast as he could to that office and tell them what was happening. They might have the tools and knowledge they needed to ensure this octopus did not die. Jake nodded and took off in a sprint, his young legs carrying him across the beach toward the distant security post. The sun bore down on him as he ran, and his heart raced from exertion. As he approached the security post, his breathless words tumbled out as he tried to explain the unusual crisis unfolding on the beach. The officers there initially regarded him with skepticism, suspecting this might be a child's prank. Beachgoers often came up with wild stories, and more often than not, they only ended up wasting their time. However, Jake's sincerity and the urgency in his voice eventually convinced them to follow him back to the scene. As they arrived, they were met with the surreal sight of an octopus on the sand, its tentacles weakly flailing around. This was no prank. Recognizing the seriousness of the situation, the officers sprang into action. With the combined efforts of the Taylor family and the security officers, they carefully lifted the octopus and began the laborious task of pushing it back toward the water. Carrying a tired, heavy marine animal with tentacles everywhere was no easy feat, but the officers and the tailors persevered, inching closer to the water's edge. The octopus, once weak and vulnerable, seemed to gain strength as it neared the ocean. Its tentacles moved with more purpose, as if it sensed the water just ahead. The rescuers knew they couldn't simply leave it in shallow waters and together immerse themselves up to their thighs. Finally, with one last coordinated effort, they managed to throw the octopus into the water. The creature seemed to hesitate for a moment, as if bidding farewell to its unexpected saviors. Then, with a graceful glide, it disappeared beneath the surface, vanishing into the vast expanse of the ocean. The family of four and the security officers stood there, a mixture of exhaustion and wonder on their faces. The unexpected encounter with this incredible sea creature had left an indelible mark on them all, but they didn't know that their adventure was not over yet. As they watched the ripples on the water's surface fade into the distance, in fact, something extraordinary happened. The octopus, now submerged, extended four of its long, sinuous tentacles toward the surface. These delicate appendages reached up and gently wrapped around their ankles, a gesture that felt deliberate and filled with gratitude. Tears welled up in their eyes as they stood in the shallow water, connected to this magnificent creature in a way they could never have imagined. It was as if the octopus was saying thank you in its own mysterious way, expressing its appreciation for the kindness it had received. In that moment, surrounded by the vastness of the ocean and the warmth of their family, the Taylors felt a deep sense of connection, not only to each other, but also to the incredible world of marine life. The bond they had forged with the octopus was a reminder of the magic that could be found in even the most unexpected of encounters. For many years to come, whenever they visited this beach, they would remember the unlikely encounter with the incredible creature they saved and how it thanked them. They hoped the octopus survived and was living a happy life far from the beach where it would be safe. What an incredibly heartwarming story. Would you have tried to help the octopus too? Have you ever rushed to the aid of an animal in need? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, and we'll see you in our next video.